हेलो चिल्ड्रेन हाव आई यू ऑल होप यू आर कीपिंग फाइन चिल्ड्रेन टेकिंग गुड केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ एंड स्टडिंग ऑल्सो बिकॉज यू ऑल नो यू ऑल हैव ऑलरेडी गॉट योर डेट शीट्स एंड प्रिपेयर वेल फॉर योर सेकेंड ड्यूटी चिल्ड्रेन बिकॉज दिस टाइम इट विल बी ऑफ फोर्टी मार्क्स एंड मोर सिलेबस एंड अ बिट टफ फ्रॉम लास्ट टाइम लास्ट टाइम वॉज द फर्स्ट ड्यूटी सो वी गेव अ वेरी वी गेव वेरी इजी टेस्ट बट दिस टाइम इट विल नॉट बी द सेम एंड चिल्ड्रेन प्लीज कीप इट इन माइंड देन एवरी वन शुड अपेयर फॉर द सेकेंड ड्यूटी बिकॉज दिस मार्क्स विल बी काउंटेड फॉर योर फाइनल और एज अ प्री बोर्ड मे बी द काउंसिल वॉन्ट दिस मार्क्स सो दे विल यूज दिस मार्क्स सो चिल्ड्रेन एवरी वन शुड अटेम दिस सेकेंड ड्यूटी सो चिल्ड्रेन इन द लास्ट क्लास और लास्ट वीडियो आई हैव सेंड वीडियो बेस्ड ऑन चैप्टर नाइन विच वॉज इंडिपेंडेंस एंड पार्टीशन ऑफ इंडिया तो लास्ट टाइम वी आई हैव अलॉन्ग विद द इंट्रोडक्शन आई हैव डन द कॉज इवेंट दैट लेड टू द कैबिनेट मिशन मूड ऑफ द पीपल देन लेबर एंड रेस्ट एंड द क्लॉज ऑफ कैबिनेट मिशन वंस अगेन आई एम गोइंग टू रीड द क्लॉज दैट वर फेडरल यूनियन पावर ऑफ यूनियन provincial uh, autonomy grouping of provinces formation of constituent assembly representation of minorities formation of interim government freedom to join the commonwealth and transfer of power these are the major uh, points uh, of the cabinet mission now children i am going to tell you in detail before i go further children i just want to tell you that while going through the uh, book you may find uh, the uh, slide may be not according to the serial order which is given in your book but everything is there in the slide maybe in slide the some points will come first and it will come uh, later in your book but everything is there so don't get confused you just have to see the slide properly and carefully read the chapter you should be thorough with your chapter as the chapter is very very important so now children we'll see the next slide where it been give, given in detail now the clauses of the cabinet mission plan first is federal union now the first clause is that there would be a federal union of the british provinces and princely states union government should deal with foreign affairs defense communication and finance the what the power of union the union would have its own executive and legislature this was the second power of the union then a uh, provincial autonomy now in this children in provincial autonomy grouping of power will be done the british province would be divided into groups now see children this is the important thing how they will group the provinces group a will have six hindu majority province like madras madras or Ch- we'll say chennai just now bombay or mumbai bihar and orissa etc this will be uh, will be six majority hindu states now here we have given only four because rest you have in your book you can read all the six this is the major uh, provinces in group b three muslim province punjab then north west frontier province and sindh this will be in group b group c in bengal assam etc will be there in the group third group that is group c then comes the next group children then children uh, uh, these are the three groups these are the three groups which were there in a book also children i if i read the chapter from your book then it is given in madras first group will have madras bombay central province united province bihar and orissa group b will have Pan- this i have told you just now and group c the thus it will include bengal assam of the chief commissioners provinces that is delhi ajmer marwar konk to join uh, group a and baluchistan to uh, join group b a province could opt out of any group and join another by majority of votes now children they have given this uh, group wise but they were free people of these play, provinces were free to leave the group which was uh, fixed uh, that uh, from for their choice they if they wanted they can leave their group 
and uh, with majority of vote and join the other group the this uh, uh, facility was there so children this is the way how group was uh, decided the group was made the formation of constituent assembly children now children uh, 389 members would be the constituent assembly 269 296 member of british province and 93 from princely state children remember at that time princely states were also there which were ruled by princes all so 296 member of british province which were ruled by britishers and 93 from princely states then representation of minorities separate representation was to be given to muslim and sikh formation of interim government an interim government at the uh, center would be formed with 14 members then freedom to join the commonwealth india at that time india uh, became free india would have a choice to join or not to join the british commonwealth so they had the choice here so this was the clauses of cabinet mission children now here they have given you here federal union freedom of commonwealth and then grouping of province then representation of minority and interim government and constituent assembly these are the this is made a uh, your web chart is been given here so that you can understand well that what was a cam, uh, cap clauses of cabinet mission now when we move further children then you see that children what was the reaction to the cabinet mission now people did not accept everything as it is so there were reaction the but what was the reaction congress accepted the plan but with some reservations there were some clauses and but they accepted the plan it accepted that part of the plan that spoke about the constituent assembly and constitution constitution it proposed that grouping of provinces should be made optional and not compulsory again means it was it would not be compulsory then group a these the, the province which has been mentioned uh, in a group should be there it should be optional people can join any group okay for people from uh, province which is given in a they can be given in b and b can join c so it should be optional and then children congress rejected the formation of interim government because it gave Uh, parity equality to muslim league at par with congress so the congress rejected the formation of interim government now what was the reaction of muslim league now children in your book you have got conflict between congress and muslim league this is the same thing here children though the heading is different but is now here the reaction of muslim league is given it is same with here so don't think that ma'am has not explained me or you anything so reaction of muslim league so children what happened the uh, the lord wovel who has proposed the failed cabinet mission plan was called the lord mountbatten was appointed a new viceroy his immediate was task was to restore peace between inc indian national congress and muslim league he found that the task is difficult and decided to spread up the transfer of power without any delay so children conflict i will uh, between muslim league and congress i will read you okay i'll read for you later on in zoom class or any other slides okay children he found that the task was very difficult to so he he wanted to transfer immediately the power he presented his plan the uh, lord mountbatten plan before the seven leader and they were nehru patel kriplani jinna liaquat ali uh, nishtar and baldev singh he presented the plan in uh, then indian national congress and muslim league accepted the plan and plan was announced on june 3 1947 gandhi once again reminded not to go for partition as it may cause harm to the country so children here is the plan of lord mountbatten we'll just have a look we'll have just have a look in the uh, next slide but we'll finish off the class just now children because the time is uh, getting over
सो चिल्ड्रेन वील मीट इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास एंड डू द रिमेनिंग पार्ट बाय द टाइम चिल्ड्रेन टेक केयर ऑफ योर सेल्फ